Hello, this is Blender T U T. Um, well, funny thing is, I've actually had to remake this tutorial um, five times. First time my stream recorder crashed. Second time that was bad quality. Third time nothing would work right in the game creator. Fourth time I kept coughing. Fifth time I fell asleep. So yeah, that is really bad. This time, I will get right. This is my sixth, by the way. All right, so let's get right to it. Um, so open this up. This is not T. Uh, this is not FPS Creator Free. It has FPS Creator Four. I bought it. It's just it does not show that. I will rename this later. To open it, you will need to run as administrator. So right click and right click. Click run as administrator. It will pop up saying, "Do you want to?" Want to allow the following program to from a unknown publisher to make changes to this computer? So if you open up the details, show the program location, but I'm not going to go into that. So just click yes. Now for a couple of basic controls, let's add a prefab. Really quick, go into your prefab library. We shall add a control room large. Click OK. If you click R, that's to rotate it. Um, we'll make sure this is up. Place that down. If you use your arrow keys, um, arrow keys, you can move the setting of the place. Page up and down is um, intensity of lights and stuff. Minus and plus is different layers. Um, No, page up and down is not intensity. Thank you, person um, that actually just told me that. Um, you guys can't see it, but yes. Thank you. Okay. Um, yes, I remember the controls now. But anyway, now that we have this prefab library loaded, if we go to the segments, you can see that, well, if you look around here, you can see that we have a couple of basic doors. We have a door and basically the floor in this. So if we go to the segments library, you can see that we have the walls and stuff, and the door and the roof and the ground. So this is basically what the segment is. It takes this and puts it into separate pieces. So that's what prefabs are. Markers or player starts and everything. So this is where our main game will be. Sorry if I'm rushing, but, you know, tired and stuff. So we're just going to leave this door fly out into nowhere. So we're going to add a couple of more free prefabs. We are going to be using uh, Chateau because I like Chateau. I just like the name, to be honest. I mean, it's a pretty cool name. So when you're adding stuff onto this, that has a... Alright, sorry, let's zoom out because this is bothering me like a wrong layer so you just have to be careful of using um, being sure you're using the right one and then just put it like this that'll pop up and we need one more for the full demonstration purpose and as you can see I just cut out a little piece there how I did that was I put this thing in here and I clicked the right mouse button. I'm on a laptop on a mouse pad, and that will delete stuff according to your segments. But I actually did do that on purpose so I can add what I want to purposely because in the last video, yeah, well, when I added it, it got screwed up. So now I can add this just like I want to. And there we go. Aha, it worked perfectly. So I wanted to merge it, so last video, it got really screwed up, and if you want to know how, there was walls everywhere, and it was glitching. So, yeah, fixing this this time, and I'm rushing because I don't want a long tutorial. Alright, um, now we have this basic stuff, let's go ahead, this will be the start, um, let me explain some things. This here, um, this... 
basic room here will be the starting room. This room will be where there are some basic enemies and AIs. This will be um, this room will be where we win and where we test the story node. So here we will test the story and here is where you'll win. So let's get started. Um, um, add a new entity. Click add entity. Um, let's go to World War for two. You should World War two. Go to characters is the AIs. They're classified. Um, if you just push all the pluses, you can see that you have different things. Doors, glass, lifts, whatever. Go to items. Um, give your man the Tommy gun. Right there is no man, so we'll have to add a marker. Player start. Click R to rotate again. Place the man in there. And oh my goodness. Alright, just move it by clicking it with the left and just dragging it. Um, I will zoom in so that you can see this better. Alright, now we can add an, add an entity. Go to the Tommy gun. If you want him to start with it, the easiest way is just to put it right under the character. So you can't see it just like that. Now we should also add some basic um, players. We'll add some thugs. So click entities, go to characters, and go to two thugs. And we shall rotate them. Put them right here and right here. We now have two thugs with pistols. Now, I am not going to be testing this thoroughly because it is meant to be a quick tutorial. Um, but, this is meant to get you started and to show you all the really, very basic controls. There will be more in-depth tutorials because, like, this is just going to be the introduction tutorial. Then it will be tutorial 1, tutorial 2, tutorial 3 on all different things. But this is just to get you started. So, now what we will do... Now you have the basic thugs there. Um, you have doors that goes out into nowhere. You have the chateau. Um, enter to use doors. Let's add the story group. Check the segments. You can see that they're all in here. All the pieces from the different things is in here. Lighting will lighting will and all of these will be a separate tutorial except for some of the zones. So wind zone, like I said, down here will be the wind zone. Um, actually, not down there will be the wind zone. You want to go up a layer by clicking this button. There you go. Now right here will be the wind zone. Now if you um, blah, 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 um, right click um, like this, you'll go into this sort of view uh, where you can move it so forth you it's kinda hard because there's a wall there you can move it up down by using page up and down and then just move it with your arrow keys but anyway there you go is objective turn this to one that means it's the main objective not the secondary objective click apply changes it'll pop up go to the story zone which will be this one and just pop it up since I already know it's in the right place go there go here um, you can drag it around. Go down here is objective zero, audio visual, blah blah blah. Apply changes. <coughs> and as you can see, we have a wind zone, a story zone, two entities, a gun. And it's basically a full game in like five minutes. So, just to make sure, so that you actually do have lighting, go to Preferences, make sure free shadows, you either, lighting shadows, make sure you either have best for performance and best for quality, you have full shader effects, texture quality, you can have medium or high, those will look the best, and just leave those off and leave it on single player. We'll go ahead, file, save this, go to save as. If you didn't see that there, build game. Um, 
is how you would build the exe file and now that this save you can see the build game you'll see all these tools I'll explain all of these later um, but for now toolbars and stuff see this little test game button depends on what version you're using but you can just click this button and this will pop up and it'll tell you all of the controls so you might you can just read this <coughs> This is Enter, obviously. I've actually never tried Tab. Can you believe that? Hmm. All right, before we start, you can see this level uses 789 megabytes of usage. This just means it's using 789 megabytes of RAM. Once you do pack this into an exe file, it will be about half less. Alright, uh, click OK and we can test the game. Picked up a weapon. Turn the volume down a little bit because it's a little bit loud on my end. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty clear visuals. When I pull the trigger, my trigger pulls it too. My hand goes and pulls it. Um, nice graphics, not too shabby. Click tab. Um, you can see the resource mon manager. <coughs> so yeah. Um, now let's open the door by enter. Two chugs here. They will try to kill me. Um, grab his pistol and open it by clicking two. Fire head in. Yeah, I'm not the best game player. Um, as you can see, this is the door that goes out to nowhere. It does indeed go out to nowhere. Now, if you look over here, here's the gaping hole that I made with the nice skybox and everything. When we go to the chateau, as you can see, great graphics. Uh, like I said, adding lights will be the next part. Go over here, and as you can see, it will show us our story. This means we did it right. Now, you could always walk across there. If we go to the when zone, we will win the game. And there we go. We bought, won the game. So, guys, that's about it. Um... File, save, yeah, just save it. I have the tutorial and everything. And that's it. Well, bye guys. Thanks for watching.